What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. What is up? Today I am just making a very, very quick video on how to get the driver software for Red Dragon's M991 wireless gaming mouse. Um, it's very simple. The reason I'm making this video though is because some people do struggle to find some software sometimes. So hopefully this will be very, very simple. So first thing you want to do, go to the description below and I will have the link for the driver there. All right, make sure you click that. It'll open you up or it should open you up to this page. Um, something similar to this page, you know, it'll be where you can find all of their software. If it doesn't show it to you right here instantly, just type in M991 over here and press go. Then you just click here, press download software. And I already have it installed. It's, you know, it's very basic. It's just, you download it, you open it, it'll install it to wherever you want to install it. it takes like a minute or two. And then here we have it. And that's, really all there is to it. It doesn't take very long to do. Um, this driver also has a lot of great features that I think are very important, including kind of determining what each button does because it does have nine programmable buttons. You have the polling rate, you have the battery life, you have these settings as well for the DPI, mount sensitivity, scrolling speed, double click speed, uh, the effect as far as that is concerned as well for the um, for the wheel, man, I am blanking today. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much when you change the DPI, it'll change what color the wheel will do, the macros that you can set, the lighting effects. So if you wanna choose a specific lighting effect, you can do it from here. The brightness, the speed, the color schemes, all of that. You can import and export files. It's very, very simple to use. Probably one of the easiest drivers I've ever used. And hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe, show some support. Thank you for watching.